Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I am Samantha the Introvert. Today I want to give you my personal review on episode 4 of the Middleman's Love series. I already did my review on episode 1, 2, and 3. Links are in the description below. So without further ado, let's get into it. The episode starts off with Mai trying to confess to Jade but failed to do so. The next day, I don't know what bad luck launched on Jade, but the force of gravity went with him with the drink. Then this girl, who is clearly out of her heels for Mai, trying to make a move, but Mai is also making clear evidence that he's not interested in her. But for some reason, what I see is Jade and Mai hanging out with each other more often, and you're telling me not one moment Mai didn't find a chance to confess? It's almost Sakran and Yura is asking what Jade planning and Jade said he might spend it with his family. And because Yura and King will spend theirs at Japan, Jade asks for souvenirs. Mai asking to spend Sakran with Jade playing water but Jade said no because he rather spend it alone at home and Mai got sad. Gun and King saw how Tong working hard and told him that even though the work is important, he can rest and come back to it. Gus came to talk to Tong and again his choice of words were harsh. But Gus still not giving up but when Gus tries to call to Tong, Tong ignores Gus and King and Gun sees this. Because of this and the way Tong treated Gus, King spoke to Tong and even gave him advice. While walking home, Jade saw how Mai was sad. Jade knew it has to do with his response on not going to Sakura with Mai. So Jade told Mai he changed his mind and he will go with him and that got Mai immediately happy. On the way to the event, Mai told Jade he never celebrated Sakuran before, but Jade said to follow him and basically have fun. It seems it's not only Jade and Mai there, but also Tong and Gus, but Gus not happy to see Tong there. Tong tries to talk to Gus, but Gus ignores Tong. It doesn't feel so good, huh? Anyways, Gus said if he knew that Tong would be there, he wouldn't have come, but Tong said the only reason he came was because of Gus. Again, Jade and his imagination whenever Mai and Gus together. On their walk home, Gus made it clear that Tong hurt his feelings. Mai and Jade enjoying a meal together when Jade got an urgent call from his niece Jane. Turns out a perverted guy touched his niece's breast and filmed it. The police came but the man lied and didn't even want to show his phone that had the evidence. So Mai took matters in his own hands and put his self-defense to work. By the way, the reason why he put his self-defense to work was because the guy was pointing the knife to everyone because he doesn't want to give the police his phone. Jay thanked Mai for his help and Mai said he is willing to do anything for Jade. And the girls picked up on that message except for poor Jade. Jade then call her uncle aside and tell him the signs that Mai be showing but Jade's saying those signs are fake. When they reached their place, Jade noticed that Mai had a cut on his elbow. While in Jade's condo, it was there Mai finally confessed to Jade. He won't be misunderstanding that now. Okay guys, that is the end of my review on episode 4 of the Middleman's Love series. Stay tuned for my review on episode 5. And as always, if you like my review, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit notification bell so you never miss that video and I'll see you next time.